Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jen. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. So today we are going to be doing a transformation into a baddie part two video and it will feature this beauty forever wig. I am going to be installing it and also this beautiful honeybee makeup because I got to show y'all how I'm coming, okay? So if you do like this look, definitely stay tuned. <music> jump into this video and i do need to put my wig on first uh so i did get this wig from beauty forever per usual this is how it looks so it is 18 inches i washed it so that's why it's a little frizzy i'm finna flat iron it and everything and it has like the two blonde pieces in the front it is a closure wig and it has like that little net thing on it or whatever um so it has like that little net thing on it. This is how it looks though. Combs in the inside or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and fly iron this wig and style it up. how it's looking it is in the middle of my head i just have to make sure because sometimes it do not be in the middle it's in the middle as it's gonna get um so i'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace off uh my scissors okay so i'm gonna cut in the middle first and then just Use my eyebrow razor and just slowly trim the lace off. And then as you see, it's coming up a little bit. So all I'm going to do is to do the same thing that I did initially. And that was just mix a little bit of the Got To Be Glue and the Weed Dealer Spray together. And then I just kind of tap that along my hairline. Like that. Then I'm going This is the wig dealer spray. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put my band back on my head. My band back on my head. And then I just kind of let this sit. Um, right now I am like backing up videos and stuff. So I let this sit and do its thing let it dry on its own i don't really use a blow dryer because this gives me the opportunity to multitask like so that's what i'm gonna do and i will be right back okay so i just took my scarf off 
my little wig band off and this is how it looks it's literally been like five minutes i honestly don't even know why i stopped the video but whatever but this is how it looks this hair is very soft i will say that just a little bit my edge is a little bit crusty from that got to be glued but it look fine And then for me, I think I'm gonna do edges. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to be taking this palette, the Kyra palette. This is what I've been spraying everything on. I don't know. The Kyra palette, powder foundation palette. And I'm going to be using one of the foundation powders. And just making my part a little bit more noticeable. Just kind of doing that. I'm just kind of tapping it on there. I don't like using concealer because concealer oxidizes just like a foundation would. So if you are not using the proper concealer color or if you're using something that's too orange or too yellow or whatever, it's going to oxidize. And then sometimes it just sets, it sets weird to me. Like, I don't know. It make it look like the holes on your lace are more defined than what they actually are. And then when you wash your wig and you see like, oh, I really didn't even need to use this in the first place. You know, don't nobody got time for all that. I don't know. I'm not going to say I know what I'm doing, but I know it works for me. Yeah, right now I'm on my Instagram talking about how some people play hard to get to the point where they are hard to want. Um, Like, you know how like, us women, we shoot our shot or whatever, but me and be like, you really didn't do nothing. You didn't really show me that you like me. But for me, it's different to the point where it be like, 
I will tell you like, hey, I like you. I'm interested in you. You know, like, let me know if you like me type of stuff. Um, But some men like to play coy. Um, You know what that means? Look that up. Like, kind of like playing like that wishy-washy energy where you can't really catch their energy to know if they're really legit interested in you. And I'm like, some people literally don't know that sometimes you play hard to get to the point where you're hard to want. You got about a month to do that with me before I'm like, you know what? This is just, I'm going to move on to a new pursuit because I don't even be really liking people for real like that for you to be playing with me. I don't got time for that. I don't, I don't give that type of energy. So I don't know why I'm getting it. Cause I blatantly tell people like, I don't like you move on. Like there's nothing that's going to change. I don't like you. So it'd be like, I don't know sometimes why people do that with me. Cause I'm just like, I'm not going to say I'm like a savage, but I kind of am. So it'd be just like, I'm not going to sweat you baby because you're going to see me with my new man and you're going to be like, I thought she liked me. I did. But that little two weeks went by and you didn't do nothing. So, hey, who fault is that? Because it ain't mine. I let you know my schedule and everything and what you do. Diddly. You did diddly. But I did use my wax stick. I know I said I wasn't going to use it, but I used my wax stick and I used my hot comb just because I wanted to push this part back a little bit and just make it look a little bit more natural so this is the best that i can do y'all i'll be trying this is the hair and it's 18 inches long so you know i like it to just reach my butt a little bit but not like in my butt if that makes sense i don't want like no 22 or nothing like that so this is the hair you guys i will include everything down in the description box um, so if you guys want to pick it up from Beauty Forever, you can go ahead and check out the details or any other things that they're selling right now. But let's definitely get into this makeup. Okay, you guys, you can finally jump into the makeup because that's what I wanted to do today. Like, I have to do my hair, of course. So we're going to be starting with the e.l.f. Puttyless Pore Primer. I really love this stuff. At first, I did not, but it don't got no problems in my book. And I just kind of do four little dots and just. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect in the color 7 and 9. And I do one pump of each. And I just put it onto my little makeup artist palette. Like so. I'm going to just mix them together. And don't judge my little palette because I use it for the same stuff every day. So eyebrows, foundation. So it's just little spots of that. And I mix that and I put it all over my face. And I also use this to line my brows with. So I just kind of use the same brush and I just kind of go around my brows. And then along with that brush, I like to use like this angled brush by BH Cosmetics. And this is just to like get my forehead and everything. And like those little hard to reach places. Um, I also like to use my beauty blender just to 
pick up anything extra. Make sure you get that neck. I always say that, but for real, make sure you get your neck. <laughs> um, and then with the brows, I like to go back in and kind of do this at like the front part. And that's just so it's not like a line of concealer. I'm sawing out those brows. Sometimes I go back at the end of the video and just redo my brows sometimes. I'm so used to doing my whole face and then doing my eyeshadow now that that's what I'm doing. I normally don't do that for my YouTube videos unless I'm doing something on my physical face. So like down here, but I'm doing eyeshadow today. And this is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. I finally got a new one y'all because that other one, it was through. <laughs> I was really trying to hold on to it and it was through. It was already over with and done with. This is the uh, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Eyeshadow Primer Potion. As usual, I'm tapping that in with my finger. Got a little concealer in there, but no biggie. Just kind of tap that in. You don't want to let this um, eye primer potion stuff sit because it will create creases fast. And now that my concealer has kind of set, I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And this is the Elf Camel Concealer Sponge. And I went ahead and blended my concealer out. So now I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just go over those edges. And this is why I use my beauty blender with my foundation, even though everything was already blended out. That's just to pick up the product to the beauty blender for this process. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier powder in the color translucent to set my under eye. This is just the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toast. I was gonna say toffee, I don't know why. In the color Toast. And this is just how I lightly contour. And I'm just gonna use the tip of my beauty blender, which is why it's like brown. To just kind of pack that in. Just like so. And I I like to put my contour from here to like here. And that's just because I don't have very snatched cheekbones. I have a very round face. And this just kind of helps make it look like I got little something something going on you know like that let me like really get in there so that way it ain't looking like it got a line and then again i like to use the butt of the beauty blender to soften those edges to make it melt with everything And I'm gonna be going back into the powder to kind of cut that. I don't know how I feel about this process. I kind of feel like it could be something easier for me to do. I'm gonna try something new in this video though. So we are gonna see if it works. I'm gonna try something different. 
we gonna try something different y'all like, i don't know why but i got this idea on my mind and i really hope it worked The idea is to use a foundation powder. Use a foundation powder to, let me see, which one is my color? That's a little bit too. Okay, I'm gonna mix two of them. So I'm gonna mix two foundation powders from this palette and just kind of, go over where I put that white powder at. But I really wanna focus on the line. So like right here, that makes sense. That actually don't look bad. So I think I'm gonna kinda put this all over my face just to kinda set everything. That actually does not look bad. Just gonna kind of dust it all over my face then. It's looking like that. I didn't expect that. Okay, yeah, I like that. Cause now you can't really see that like indentation line. You know, like what I'm saying, when people do that, how it just look like a line. And it's like, well, clearly you don't really have, you don't have real cheekbones if you have a line on your face okay so back to the eyeshadow we're gonna be using the orange pop and the cara beauty brand and this is how it looks same as the foundation powder and these yellows and oranges and browns are just so beautiful they're very pigmented this is the pigments right here i was trying them out to see like what colors to use so very very pigmented okay so i'm gonna be using the color exclusive and it's like this brown down here. And I'm gonna be putting this color inside of my crease. So I've been learning that when I'm doing my shadow, if I want my color to be in my crease, I need to do it like a little bit below it because when I blend it, it's gonna move. So I've just been learning that. Cause for some reason I always do that on my left eye, but not my right eye. And then be like. So I'm gonna use a different brush now and I'm gonna use the color um, Cannabis. So this orange. And I'm gonna use that right on the edge of the green. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it on the edge of the brown. So like, right, right, right on the edge. And again, since shadows spread when they are blended, make sure you put it like directly on the edge so both of the colors can blend together and then you can blend it up just a little bit. And then lastly, we're going to go in the color Torch, which is like a yellow, yellow, yellow. And we're going to put that right above the orange. And I've been learning to see my shadows better is to look up, like tilt my head up. That way I can see like how everything's blending. 
And this is exactly why I've been using different brushes for each shadow so I can go back in and like re-blend everything together. It's coming out exactly how I wanted it to and it's crazy. Um, okay. So now I'm gonna go in with the James Charles palette and I'm gonna use the color Spooky. I think that's what this black is called. It's black. Any black eyeshadow would do. So I'm gonna use black and we are going to put the black like right here. We're gonna stop right here. Again, when you blend out the black is gonna go up. So I'm gonna make sure you are being careful with that. So we're gonna use the same brush we started with, which is the one we used the brown with. And we're gonna go back into the color exclusive. And we're gonna go over the line where the black is with the color exclusive. Let me like do it just a little bit up. So this brush is doing it itself. I don't know what kind of brush this is, but it's from BH Cosmetics. This brush is actually just blended it all itself. But I still wanna go back into the color exclusive and just kinda go right over. And like I said, it helps to keep looking. Like it, it really helps to just keep looking at everything, tilt your head back, look at it, if you feel like you need to add more of a color and shade in somewhere, just keep doing that. Like, cause a lot of people keep asking me like, how did I learn how to do eyeshadow? And it was really just trial and error. I didn't watch videos on how to do eyeshadow. I literally just watch what kind of look I want to do. And then that's really it for me. Like, and I don't even really sit around and do that. Any videos that I watch to learn how to do eyeshadow are those little TikTok Instagram minute reels. And that really be it. So everything is a work in progress. This is so pretty. Oh my God. I've never did anything like this because I'm scared of black. This is so pretty, y'all. Whew. Come through, girl. Come through. And then I'm gonna be using this pencil. It is the Shockwave Neon Liner. And it's like this yellow. And this is by LA Girl. I got this from Ulta. They got like the little containers of it and I just was boop, 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 boop. I got every color. Well, almost every color. And I'm just gonna out, I'm gonna underline. Oh, it should look like that. And I like this because it's neon, so it makes the yellow, like, pop. Okay, we're going to use that same brush, and we're just going to kind of tap. So I didn't put any more product on this. I'm just going to kind of tap right under my eye. Right under it. like that so it kind of looked like a smolder effect so i'm going to be using glitter today i'm going to be using these two glitters and i got these off amazon and i'll include the link down below this one is kind of like a blue black iridescent and then this is gold and i'm gonna put some of the glitter into the top i'm not gonna need that much so this is just about how much i'm gonna put in there so I'm gonna go ahead and take the Duo Clear Glue, this is how it looks. And I'm gonna put that like right in the middle. Do the same thing on the other eye. And I always wipe my little brush off before dipping it back all the way in. 
this glue is like gray at this point. And I'm just gonna spread that glue around. It's already glitter on this brush, but that's not a big deal. Spread that glue around. And then I'm gonna tap both glitters. And just And then, like I said, I'm going to be taking some of them off or, like, spreading them around a little bit. And now I'm going to be coating my lashes with the Maybelline Falsies. I'm going to be using the Real Mink Lashes in the style... RML 012. That RM part is very important. It's important. I bought some of these and I found like my favorite pair and I honestly don't know what number they are. So I had to go back and basically buy all of them. And I still don't know which ones are the ones that are my favorite, which sucks. We are going to do lips. I'm going to be using the color BFF three from ColourPop. So I'm gonna use the color Lace Detail in the NYX Liquid Lingerie. Lani Soft Rose Plumping Gloss. I'm gonna use my concealer brush around my mouth. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight with the MAC Hyper Real Glow in the color Gleam Sheen. I'm gonna use the liner and in my inner corner, I'm just going to kind of shade in the color. Then I'm going to go into the Hyper Real Glow in the color gleam sheen again, and then I'm just going to kind of Put that highlight right on top of the liner just to make it pop and since this is a brush i'm just going to kind of work it up so the liner kind of spreads out okay. where is my setting spray morphe continuous mist So this is the finished look. I am really feeling it. This video did take all day, but I did transform myself into a baddie. So if you did like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time.